reveal no news regarding last night's massacre at the peaceful residence of Cervo Scuro, where the body of Richard Felton, a well-known notary, was found burnt in his own home. The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. The body of 38-year-old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the Cristo Morente convent. Her body was found mutilated as she was reported thrown out a courtyard-facing window, apparently following a heated argument. The neighbors claimed to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. Missing. February 8, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. You ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up? Assigned by Flemington Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn, 1973. Jennifer, just over two years older. Unknown parents. It's you, isn't it? Celeste Felton. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Did you say Reed? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't fight. What is Reed? Un. Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. Are you here to broaden your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. What ever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? That girl was simply an orphan. A homeless nobody. And so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner Felton by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It was never about synthesizing a disease. Because... The disease never existed. And the moths? Woken up at last. Hey, hey. I, I barely oh, touched no. her. It was just a bad dream. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jen. <gasps> Andrea went crazy! You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me! <laughs> That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Drink up. <clears throat> I am sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. There was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. Uh, no, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman. That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead and has been for a long time. He hung himself. You see... You were just dreaming. I, I... 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 I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, 
right? <laughs> she should get some rest now. Jen, if you need anything... I'm here for you. From my eyes, if you leave me, are you sure you miss me? If you fly, you lose something in the sky. Are you new here? Listen to me. Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare time. Very well, you're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. The pleasure was all mine. You lose something in the sky. You have to wake up. I beg you, wake up. Shit, they drugged you. Listen, you have to leave. You have to get away from this place. This story again? Everything you said before. I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He... He hung himself years ago. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. I don't... I don't understand. There's no time to explain. They know who you are. They know! What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood, for fuck's sake! Why? Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember! They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run! Fucking hell, Lynn! Just tell me! That drug. The disease! And what does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you.
the moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne, she does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. <sighs> Therefore, eliminating the threat. Telephone! It's coming from Ashman's office. Fuck! It's locked! Oh, there has to be another way. Be as quiet as possible. I missed it by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. Celeste Felton, this is... this is me. It feels like an eternity has passed since I ran away from home. Ashmida? Hi, Stefano, it's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you. Stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish she could understand. Jesus! The Ashmans. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go, then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! 
You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go! You're exactly the same as your slutty mother! That disgusting bitch! Phenoxyl made her lose her mind! She had to get in the way! I loved Ariana! Why did she keep us apart? Mr. Ashman! She had to be shown who was the real man! Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her?! <laughs> The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. I knew it! You're not using your silly mobs now, are you? Hands in the air! It works! the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses. A transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say Mother Acarantia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a Queen Bee. I am disgusted by you and all the girls of your generation. I will rip your head off and throw it in the freezer. Hang her. She's all yours. Do what you want. Young lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated. Far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up- SHUT UP! <laughs> it's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That, at just ten years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! 
You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> <laughs> You can do it, Jen. Oh, shit. I know you can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. Sir, Quickly, it's dear. coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. They're coming! Sir! The girl! I can't find her! Kiss my ass, dickhead! Open this fucking door! You They're all bitch. crazy! Crazy! And Mom! Dad! Gloria! I am so sorry! If only this whole project had gone up in flames earlier! Close. I have to be careful from be now on! Mess. control me they want to control me not you too elisa not you too my eyes they burn What's going on? Do you want me to teach you? I've They're seen coming! You. There must be some sort of exit from this restaurant. The balcony! I am 
warned the others not to lower their guard. Wake up, Jen. It's only a bad dream. And the only one who actually gets any work done around here is me. You both are responsible for this mess. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. Wasn't supposed to end like this. We thought we could stop them, to stop the parasite from spreading, and instead, it all turned against us. Have they completed their chores? Obviously not. <laughs> Shit! There has to be a way to shut them up! I'm counting to three. Two and a half? What? Here I come! Forever. Filthy dog! What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! Oh no! There's no time now. I want to get away from this place! Okay, I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of, like what you did in the cold room. That voice, was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up, there's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. 
Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. Here we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? Oh, fuck, fuck, no! She heard me. Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Just a little longer. Uh, my head! I have to get to Elisa. Now! Haven't you? Well, not all of them died. <sighs> Gloria Ashman. Jennifer, you have to help us, I beg you. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I, I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. You can end the loop. <gasps> Is much time left. I beg you, please. It's in my head. I can't get out of the loop. Has no effect done you. You can end the loop. Thank <laughs> you. 